Tony Swinehart with MCP's Full Court Press brought to you by House of Flavors Incorporated. Today we are at McPhail Field where the Pop Warner practice is in progress. We are talking to Ryan Graham who's been in control of the program for quite a number of years now and also the 7th and 8th grade middle school coach this year. And so how's everything going with the Pop Warner program? I see you still have a lot of wonderful parents volunteering. Well, with, with our youth football program in Scottville, it's it's grown it's it's been gaining traction for for years now and okay. it's it's we haven't skipped a beat we'll say yes. that yes and we do have a lot of a lot of parents that are volunteering um, our coaching staff by far best best group you can yeah. ever be around yes and I remember that when my son was in Pop Warner he learned a lot from a lot of the the coaches and still to this day they'll ask hey how is he doing Absolutely. and it, they still are thinking about players they've had and players they're going to continue to have and that's a wonderful aspect but you also still have your son that's playing and your daughter is she still yeah, playing my too? daughter's here she's practicing behind us right now okay. um so i am our director for scott youth football i had to coach our peewee team which is our third and fourth grade kids this year because okay. we didn't have enough uh, volunteer coaches okay so i took okay. that role um and then we have so we have one peewee team okay we have two jv teams which are fifth and sixth graders okay and also coaching our junior seventh high <laughs> seventh and eighth grade so you are busy very very busy <laughs> I'm very, very blessed that I have such an amazing wife that allows me to do Every, what I, everything yes. that I'm able to. Yeah, yes. Yeah, she's well, and I know she's one of your biggest supporters as well. Absolutely. And one of the biggest supporters of this program yes. as well as any of the football. Yep. And now you also have your youngest son. Does he have still a year before he, he can play? He's got two years left. Okay. He, he really begged me hard this year. He wanted to play, and I said, I'm not breaking the rules. You have right. to wait till you're eight years old. <laughs> right. Aw. Because yeah. he's been watching his brother and sister grow up Absolutely. in it. And Absolutely. And so, so he just wants yep. to join in as yep. well. Yep. So what are, now how many games do they have left? We have one game left. So this Saturday, we will be at Spartan Community Field here in Scottville at the high school field. Okay. It is our jamboree. It's week seven. It's just, it's our fun week. And um, we're excited. Okay. We're very excited. We have four games. We have three teams that we're hosting four games total. Uh, okay. We start at three o'clock. Peewee, our Peewee team is going to take on Trevor City Central. Okay. Who is also undefeated. They're six and oh. Oh, wow. So it's the battle okay. of the unbeatens. Uh, okay. That's a three o'clock kickoff. Okay. And then I have a game at 4.30, a game at six, and a game at 7.30 on Saturday night. Okay. And the 7.30 game is gonna... Ludington's JV team versus Scottville's JV team. Oh, wow. And and okay. It's it's gonna be. And a that's battle. gonna be under the lights. It's under the lights. Yes. And people love being under the, the kids just really love being under the lights. It's the, the energy just comes right out of them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it kind of, well it's kind of like Friday night lights. It is. It's it one is. of the reasons that that phrase came about, I believe. Yep. And that I've asked for a, for a night game for multiple years now, and and finally I was given the opportunity so we could do this. Um, okay. Just something about playing underneath the lights at a young age makes you want it more as you get older. Yeah. Yes. It's almost mm -hmm. as if it's a it's a little 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 treat now yes. for something greater in the future. Yes. And I well and I remember that myself doing basketball when I was really little. Yep. Which is called a different sport, but I remember playing at halftime during like the J V and varsity yep. games and it was such a thrill because I thought, ooh, that's gonna be me someday. Yep. yep. And that's all of what these little boys and girls are thinking when they are playing under those lights. So you also had a lot of success with your middle school team. So tell we us did. a little bit about that. We did. Um, we, we, we didn't lose. We were yeah. five wins, zero losses, and one tie. Mm -hmm. And I can't, uh, well, you'd have to go back to the late 90s, early 2000s for a team not to have a loss yes. in, in our football program, in our, in our middle school, school program. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. which is fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Our, our kids, um, this, this eighth grade team was my first year coaching when we were in third, when they were in third grade. Yes. They never won a game. They went 0-7. Right. And they stayed with it. And that just goes to show you that, it, you know, if you stick together, good things can happen. Just yes. because it starts out rough. Right. As long as you show improvement and you stick together and you, and we believe in family and that's on our, that's on our, our helmets. It says family right on top of it. Yeah. And that's what we preach. We preach family and we, yes. we just have to stay united and stay together. Because 
and I know that we've talked about this before, all of this right here, starting right now, at the, the young ages they are, going all the way up through middle school and even high school, each family is a different family. Oh, right. You Absolutely. know what I mean? The football family, and then yeah. you have a basketball family, possibly, or volleyball, or track, right. or... But it's it's such a wonderful thing to have all of those parents and all of those people become part of a family. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I've Don't had, you I've, feel that I, way? I do feel that, and I've had a lot of parents, um, well, this year, a lot, a lot of parents have come in and said, you know what, I'm so glad to be a part of something so special. So that makes us feel good as coaches. And right. I've asked my multiple times in the last year especially since July we had our, our youth football camp at the end of July and mm -hmm. I asked myself you know why do I why do I put all this energy into it and then it's, it's these reminders on game days when you see the energy and you see the mm -hmm. atmosphere and you see how hard these kids play for you and you see what they believe in mm -hmm. and it's just it it melts your heart yes it, it just yeah, brings it a tear to your eye it yes, does and it, it so those does. are the reminders that that we need as people to to kind of remind ourselves hey you know what there's a greater good it's not yes. just about football no there's we're teaching multiple different things here we're teaching life life lessons we yes really are. and we've talked about that before yes but it's football second out here right. everything else is first yeah yep. and that's and that's important for them to learn these lessons at such a young age it is not just in football but any sport but like anything that you're doing throughout your life this does teach you a lot of different things it does. you know it definitely does and, yeah. it, and, and hopefully if we can take one kid then we did something right this year yeah we have 17 on our peewee and 17 on both of our jv teams oh, here wow. in youth football okay and if we can take one of those kids and make a difference then we did our jobs yeah just one That's exactly all I need. just one kid. just one just one yeah i want. know just, just and change somebody's life just one kid just one yes and wanting them to do better and be better and yes yeah. and then in yourself my son still really looks up to you and loves you yeah I, really, and he, <laughs> I appreciate it I appreciate it and he's still and he's still like you know he still wants to come yeah. help he's he's been here he he showed up at youth football camp um we partnered up with the scott Loptimist. we did a tri-star okay. pump pass and kick on day three of our mini camp okay. and um mesa county sheriff's department came here and did a dog show uh, Scott police officers were here, <laughs> Chief Matt Murphy, Steve Case. They okay. talked to the kids about not being bullies and kind of what leadership is all about. Right. Um, and that was after we handed out awards. So it's just, it's all those little things that yep. these kids are surrounding themselves with. And it's yep. it's, it's, it's going to change their lives. It will. Yes. It will. It's Football positive in fact. It impact. Is. It is positive <laughs> impact. It is. All right. Well, thank you for taking time out. It's a little yeah. chilly out here. A little bit. A little, little bit. There's bit. a lot going on in the background. Yes. We're, we're, we're preparing for our last game and yeah i will say that without without the volunteers without mm -hmm. the parents none of this is possible right and and you know we always have to go out and fundraise and we haven't yep. been able to fundraise so we're still right. trying to keep costs down because we want everybody to be able to participate yes so yes. what we'll do is um after spring break we're going to go into the local schools talk to kids okay. see what their interest is and then we'll sign kids up and end of may of next year and then we'll start our, our youth uh, three-day mini camp at the end of july and, and second week august we're going to keep on going it's yeah. just the cycle the yes cycle. wonderful yeah. all right well good luck hey, for the you. last day in the last set of games Appreciate with the Wee team and then also with yeah. your other jv teams yep. and for more news go to masoncountypress.com